When you look at the rainbow, uh, you don't see a collection of separate colors. You see a single unified object that's beautiful because of its individual differences, not in spite of them. And, and that, that makes the rainbow uh, you know, a really powerful symbol of, of inclusivity, uh, which is a lot of the inspiration uh, behind the event. One of the more important parts of the Rainbow Fiddle Vision is to, to, be, to be an inclusive event make sure there's space for everyone and we want them to feel comfortable that they can bring their kids and their kids are going to have a really good time and, and be entertained. See, there's some great workshops there if you come from uh, yeah, LARPing, you're going to find quests there. So we, we really try and, and there's side trans drum and bass, there's all different kind of varieties so that everyone can really have a good time together. We're kind of branching out into conscious hip-hop, folk music uh, at the, the way station stage so there's, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of something for everyone. This year we're having a theme, it's called Song of the Phoenix. One half of the Phoenix represents the, uh, the emotion and the other, the intellectual side of the two tribes that, that separated. So now, now the Phoenix is ready to re rebirth. So both halves are traveling back to the central kingdom and the tribes are coming, coming with their sort of separate Phoenix. And they're gonna need to, to find eight rainbow gems and sort of uh, bring those together at the moment the phoenix is reborn to try and mend it together and restore their their ancient powers uh, each year we get a little closer to making uh making it an interactive world so we have we have some doorways you can walk through to teleport yourself to different uh, stage areas and uh there'll be some interactive art displays and one of the things i love in rainbow fiddle is to get some artists out there so they can uh kind of live paint and and People can see the creative process sort of unfolding and, and get excited about the process that goes into not only appreciating art, but, but creating art. Each stage has its own unique personality, so, so, so our, uh, the people at Rainbow Fill are empowered to go to the music that they want to feel. If they want side trance, they can go to the Desert Rose and they're going to get a night of side trance. They don't have to chase it around. They know where the side trance is. we got awesome drum and bass. They want live music. We, people can go over to the... Uh, to the way station and check it out. And then the Tesla stage is, is kind of a little multi-genre paradise uh, during the daytime. If you come to Rainbow Fiddle, you're not gonna be bored, that's for sure. Whether it's daytime or whether it's the nighttime, it's gonna be really fun. So the story just keeps getting better and better. And better.